Now to our decision 2016 coverage as the state's top Republicans are in Dallas tonight kicking off the Texas State GOP convention. Texas Governor Greg Abbott spoke before thousands of supporters just a few hours ago. One of the latest issues in the spotlight is the battle over transgender bathroom laws. Channel 2's Phil Archer live for us in Dallas with why the state's top Republicans are talking about this particular issue. Phil. Well, you know, red meat issues like the bathroom battle are on the table here in Dallas as the Republicans hammer out their statewide platform. And that issue came up repeatedly today. Governor Abbott spoke out on the issue for the first time today, telling delegates here he'll support North Carolina's fight against giving transgender citizens the right to use public restrooms of their choice. Obama is turning bathrooms into courtroom issues. And we are going to fight back. The bathrooms also topped Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick's convention speech. He showed up in Fort Worth Tuesday, calling for the ouster of the city's school superintendent over the district's new transgender bathroom policy. Patrick had more to say today. We will pass legislation out of the Texas Senate this session to keep men out of ladies' rooms and locker rooms and showers and bathrooms in our schools, our public buildings. A plank on transgender restroom access could well end up in the state party's platform. Someone even included it in an intra-party campaign poster left in a ladies' restroom at the convention center today. Well, Lieutenant Governor Patrick is right on the issue. The men's bathrooms are for the men, and the women's bathrooms are for the women, period. That's end of discussion. But even some conservatives are still undecided. And you need to accommodate everybody. The continuing debate within the party, drawing some heat today from outside. The news of the day is that our Lieutenant Governor has decided to pick on an already bullied group of kids for political gain. The platform committee will be working here tonight. The entire convention will vote on planks to the platform coming up tomorrow. And there's this note. Delegates here will also be allowed to vote on a non-binding resolution calling on Texas to secede from the union. Again, it's not expected to pass. Reporting live in Dallas, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.